What's up guys? So thank you for tuning in to today's video on DSM Inc. As always, I'm Chris. So in today's video, we are going to be trying to convert my G or sorry, my RS Eclipse to a GS Eclipse. Now there are a few ways you can do the you can do that. Um, mainly you have to put on the GS side skirts or fenders that I don't know what the fuck they're called, honestly. Uh, side, I call them side skirts. So you gotta put on the GS side skirts uh, and then you gotta get, so with the RS is they came with drum brakes in the rear opposed to the GS that came with disc. So you have to swap drums out for disc and everything like that. Once you do that, then pretty much, I mean, it's pretty much it's video. We're gonna be starting, not really, we're not gonna be fully converting, but we are gonna be starting the conversion simply with the side skirts. So as you guys see in the back, you guys can see right there, I have the side skirts. I have the side skirts and the parts that mount to the door as well. So today I'm gonna be trying to figure out exactly how to mount those up. Um, I don't really wanna use glue. I'll probably use uh, some type of adhesive tape or glue for the door moldings for like the parts that go on the door because those I don't really want to drill into the door if I don't have to um, just because I'm not really keen on all that stuff I'm kind of novice when it comes to drilling so I, I mean obviously I know it's not hard but I just don't want to mess up anything if I can get a, a good solid seal with some adhesive tape or some type of uh, some type of sealant or something like, like that I would rather use that but if I have to do if I have to drill holes then I will obviously drill holes in the car it just i i would prefer if i didn't have to do that but you know sometimes you gotta do what you don't want to do um other than that then yeah then i gotta find out how i'm going to mount the rear side skirt or the side skirts on the car too because i do have a little bit of rust that i'm gonna have to work around i was gonna patch the rust but for right now i'm probably just gonna have it covered up with the side skirt i know it's not keen on what you should do but given the novice of me and working with Bondo and the fact that the rust holes are decently sized, I'm, I'm gonna want someone that has a lot more experience with this type of stuff or, or honestly just a straight professional to redo the rocker panels all together. And then honestly, if I gotta pay a pretty penny to have it done, then I'll pay a pretty penny to have it done. But I would rather do that than try to, you know, half-ass it with Bondo and then- That being said, I mean, yeah, like I said, I got a lot of work to do. A lot of, you know, like a lot, a lot of maintenance, a lot of other stuff. I've been cracking down on the engine, getting that ready. It sounds great. I'll see if I can get to start up for you guys. Give me one second. few weeks um we're gonna be finishing up the side skirts getting those mounted on i've possibly found a replacement sunroof for my car because i don't know if you guys know i guess i'll explain to you guys i had a the sunroof that i have for my car to what mitsubishi tells me that there is never a sunroof made for my vehicle but come on, i'll show you here this is not the oem sunroof this is a sunroof from a 1998 mitsubishi Eclipse gs now the rs sunroofs are a little bit smaller and they actually go into the metal like a like a insert that slides into the inside of the hole and the glass that's inside the insert but i was driving mine flew off broke you can't get another one made so i'm gonna try and buy a universal one i'm gonna measure the hole out make sure it's the right hole make sure it's the right size get a universal one hook it up hopefully that fixes the problem i don't know if i'll be able to do that before K kentucky but my goal is to get that done before kentucky so that's the goal all right guys so basically now i've gotten both sides on 
it is like the third day of me doing this because I had to work and plus it's super cold so you only got limited amount of time but yeah I got both of them on so I'm going to show you guys now they're not done still got some mocking up to do still got some adjustments that need to be made tidying up I basically got them mocked on pretty much and I'm going to give you guys a quick look over right now and then probably going to end the video here so after I give you guys a look over that'll pretty much be the end of the video alright so this is how the side skirt looks on the car it's not bad uh still needs to do some some uh some adjustments if you guys can see right here still got a little bit of a gap that i need to figure out a way to close i don't know if I, I was thinking about maybe drilling a screw in right here and drilling it into the, the side of the car but if i can avoid putting screws over here i would like to uh, i don't mind it if it's like back here for instance like where this one's at or if it's like underneath where people can't see it um i'm thinking that also one i still gotta put this door thing on right here still gotta put that on if you guys can see that and then that'll kind of cover up the gap so i might not even mess with it to be honest but honestly once i'm pretty sure once i i still gotta like fully mock this up and put it in because you guys can see right there, it's totally on my zip tie because I didn't have anything, any big enough screws to fit through these holes. So I'm going to go into town today. Uh, I'm going to try and buy, uh, what are they called? Those like little, uh, those little like license plate holders. Uh, the little like screws, like they're kind of like these, you know, or whatever. And then you have like that little, uh, that little plastic piece that pop will pop into the hole that makes like a screw hole. And then like something like this and then you'll just screw it in there and then hopefully that'll bring this up like this and then push it in which will kind of make these connect i'll have to probably undo the bottom piece a little bit to give it a little bit more pliability or whatever they call it whatever you want to call it like wiggle room you know whatever but that's how it looks i mean it doesn't look bad honestly i mean i'm i'm pretty impressed with it it definitely helps me with the look of the car i mean I did black because I didn't have the right paint for the car. So I was like, you know, throw black on there. It'll look perfectly fine. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's how it looks. So today I won't be really able to do much work to the car, but uh, probably within the next few days, I'm going to probably take these back off at some point and redo them. Since now the holes are drilled, I'm probably going to take this long skirt back off, repaint it, re -go, like sand it down again, repaint it. I just want to get it mocked up to see how it looks, see if it would hold. Uh, then <clears throat> once I get that done, I'm going to get that back off this little side, this little piece right here, get that back off, get it repainted, paint it again. Then I'm going to get the right stuff to mount it, mount it back up, get this mounted. And then I'm going to figure out a way to mount the door piece. I'm probably going to use adhesive because if I don't use adhesive, I'm going to have to drill holes into the door. I don't want to do that. So I would prefer to use adhesive. So that's what I'm going to go with. And then obviously we got the driver's or the passenger side don't mind the mess so i got the passenger side on this side kind of came out a little more flush and i still got this part needs to be bolted up still got a zip tie on it just to hang it in place still gonna get this all done up right here get this cleared up if you lift it up obviously it just needs a little more support but get that done get that tidied up then I gotta figure out the fun part, which is getting these bad boys. This one and this one right here. I gotta get these bad boys mounted on the doors. That's gonna be the fun part because I'm not really sure how I'm gonna go about doing that, but we'll figure it out because that's what we gotta do. But yeah, that's that's pretty much where I'm at right now. The sky search are pretty much done. I mean, besides the basic tightening up I need to do and a little stuff. But other than that, I mean, they're pretty much good. At this point, as always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.